¡Hola chicos! ¿Qué tal estáis? Yo estoy preparada para nuestro cuento de hoy. Estoy emocionada porque hoy es uno de mis cuentos favoritos. Me encanta, ya veréis. ¿Are you ready? Vamos a ver qué hay en el baúl de los cuentos. A ver, ¿qué tenemos aquí? Mariuca la castañera. De el corderito travieso. <ríe> ¡Qué mono es! El abanico de la verdad. La guitarra embrujada. ¡Uh! ¡Qué interesante! Tengo ganas de leer este. Mm. Don Sabueso. Aladino y la lámpara maravillosa. Eh, aquí está mi cuento. Giraffes can't dance. ¿Quién ha dicho eso? ¿Quién ha dicho que las jirafas no pueden bailar? Huh, vamos a ver. Are you ready? Giraffes Can't Dance by Jill Sandrede and Guy Parker Rees. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oof. Now, Every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, He was really very bad. The warthogs started the waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. <laughs> the lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimp sold did the cha-cha with the very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gero swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. <laughs> Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. <laughs> Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot for year old. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone.
then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. <sighs> the moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, cough a cricket, who seen you earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass, and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So, imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music, if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then, Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hoops had started shuffling, doing circles on the ground, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leaped up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I am dancing. I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. You're also the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Woohoo, Gerald! How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twiddled around and finished with a bow. Then, he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. <laughs>